hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome hope you are doing good in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this trending afro low cut wig with a frontal how to ventilate the frontal to have this natural hairline how to crochet the back and how to trim it to have this length it's actually a subscriber that requested for this tutorial on my last video so i decided to share the process of it with you guys and here are the material you needed for the tutorial you need a frontal net or sweetness you need crochet pin you need adjustable or elastic band you need this type of net or you can use dome mesh cap you need ventilating pin and series or kinky hair you can use any brand or color of your choice so i'm using expression in color one so i've drew the end line of camera that's what i'm trying to show you here i'm only going to ventilate like one and a half inch from the net you might try to use 13 by 4 frontal depend on how wide you want your frontal to be the series expression usually comes in eight in one pack so i pick one pieces out of the head cut it into four equal parts because i want to use this for ventilation then it has to be longer than the back section then i pick small pieces out of the hair fold it into two equal parts then pinch and twist then i use my hand to bring some hair out so that i can see the number of hair i want to be working with i've already placed the nest on the mannequin head of camera then i use office paint to secure it so that it will not be lifting up when i start the ventilation I'm going to use the diagonal method of ventilation as usual. You know I'm not a fan of vertical method. So instead of following the straight line, we are going to follow the slanted line, which is the diagonal method. So you pass your paint through the net, pick out the amount of hair you want to be working with, wrap your paint through the hair and pass it through the loop. Pass your paint through the net, pick out the amount of hair you want to be working with, wrap your paint through the hair and pass it through the loop. You might decide to pick two or three strands of hair at once. Just make sure you are not picking too much hair. Because kinky hair is very very difficult in ventilation. So when you are done with one straight line, you are going to leave one straight line in between. Then ventilate the nest. So the spacing will now be one O and one straight line. So I have to fast forward this part because I don't want this video to be too long and i have a lot of things to explain so i'm almost done with the old ventilation here that's what i'm trying to show you for the air ventilation you might decide to use two strands of air throughout your own ventilation or you use three strands at the back then use two or one strand at the front for this particular tutorial i use two strands all through so i continue by passing the paint through the nets Bring out the two strands of hair that I'm working with, then wrap it through the pin and pass it through the loop. Once you know how to pass your pin through the net and bring out the hair you want to be working with, you don't have any problem in hair ventilation. And don't forget, when you ventilate one hole, you leave one hole in between, then ventilate the next one. And when you have done with one line, you leave one straight line in between, then ventilate the next one. So I'm done with your ventilation here. You can see how neat and natural the airline look like. The next thing to do is to place the frontal on the nest, then use pin to secure it. I would like to explain something here. When placing your frontal on the nest, make sure you are not pushing it back. I don't know how to explain very well, but just look at what I'm doing. Don't play don't push it back. We are working with just one and a half frontal here. Even if you are working with 13 by 4 frontal, which is full frontal, when you are when you reach that side, don't push it back, push it to the front so that the M the front can form like M shape. Just like you are seeing right now. I do not push it to the back, I push it to the front. So the next thing to do is to start sewing from one side to another. And make sure when you are sewing, you are not giving too much pace so that it will look neater and firm.
and this is how it looks like when i'm done sewing it you can see how neat and firm it looks like before i continue with the tutorial i would like to thank each and every one of you that is patronizing my small business god bless you all aside the wig air ventilation full lace front crochet wig you are seeing on my page that i'm selling i'm also selling air ventilation and wigging material if you have interest in any of these you can screenshot this and send it to this phone number you are seeing on your screen or if I do not upload what you want, you can send the picture to this same phone number you are seeing on your screen. And if you are in Oshogbo Ocean State, Nigeria, or somewhere closer to Oshogbo Ocean State, Nigeria, and you have interest in training, you can contact me on this same phone number you are seeing on your screen. Thank you. So back to the tutorial, we are going to start the crochets from the back section. Unlike the front section that we cut into four equal parts, we are going to cut the back section into six equal parts so that one pack will be enough. So you pass your crochet pin through the net, bring out small pieces of it and knot it twice. Make sure you are knotting it twice and use your hand to secure it so that it will not be losing up when you start trimming it. Pass your crochet pin through the net and make sure you knot it twice. And make sure you are not giving too much space when you are crocheting this method because the more you trim it, the more the net will be showing. So if you, if you are giving too much space, the net will be showing when you finish trimming it. So make sure you are not giving too much space when you are crocheting it. So the next thing to do now is to cover the sewing part at the front. When you want to cover the sewing part, make sure the hair you are picking is not so much, like very smaller to the one you have been picking from the back. So you pick more pieces and you are going to knot it twice, just like you are seeing right now. And make sure you are not giving too much space so that the sewing part will not be showing. Then I continue the crocheting when I'm done covering the sewing part. I'm very sure that you can see that I'm not giving too much space and I'm knotting it twice. It's very very important because if you do not knot it twice, when you start trimming it, it will start losing up. But if you knot it twice, it will secure it. <laughs> And this is how it looks like when I'm done crocheting it. So the next thing to do is to start trimming it bit by bit. Take your time while trimming it so that you will not over trim it. So you will continue trimming it until you reach your desired length. And you have to be very careful when you are trimming the front section because once you make mistake or you over trim it, you have to remove that part and start the ventilation again. The front section is not like the back section that if you make a mistake you have to recorchet the back and trim it again. This one you have to start the ventilation all over again. Which will eventually take much of your time. So the next thing to do after you are done trimming it is to cut the SS lace at the front. Take your time to cut the lace. Make sure you are not cutting it close to the net so that you will not rip off the net or cut the net by mistake. So when you are done doing that, the next thing to do is to sew the adjustable or elastic band at the back. And this is how it looks like when I'm done sewing the adjustable straps at the back. So I have to fix the air clip off camera. And this is how it looks like when I'm done installing it on my hair. You can see how beautiful and natural the hairline looks like. And we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you have interest in this wig, you can contact me on this phone number you are seeing on your screen. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Like this video to help this channel out. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Share with your friends. And turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another beautiful video. See you in my next video. Bye.